All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another Undisputed video and another request video today. Got some requests coming in thick and fast. This is coming from Devance the Boss, who's a regular watcher of the vids. And he wants a Riddick Bow and Tommy Morrison, sort of like a 90s era style matchup. So let's do it. Ask and I shall receive. Of course, if you want to request a fight that you'd like to see, a matchup, just let me know in the comments. Um, I'll get to it as soon as I can. If you'd also want to leave a donation for a request, I'll get to that quicker. You know, if, if a pay-in request, we'll obviously get it, get a video recorded, like a priority over it, just a normal request. But you're under no obligation to drop a donation, just if you felt like doing it. That's entirely up to yourselves. Can't think of it like a, like a busker. If you went past a busker and you'd ask them to play a song, you'd toss him like a little quid, wouldn't you? In his little, uh, in his guitar bag. Just think of it like that. But as I say, you're under no obligation. Where is he? Tommy Morrison, 86 and 84. Let's get it on. I'm not sure which venue. Probably go w, uh, WBC. I've got, I've got a habit of calling that the WEC arena lately, just because the, the WEC, which is a MMA organization that was uh, in the Zufa era of uh, of the UFC, and I think it got bought out by Dane and I think. Um, yeah, let's go WBC. Kind of looks 90s. It'll be fitting for the 90s matchup, I think. Uh, hardest difficulty. Damage modifier just up by a touch. Let's go. Maybe another month, I think, until we might be getting the career mode if I had to guess. We are live at the CompuBox Academy. The time is now. This is definitely not set for what should be the CompuBox Academy, matchup. Todd. I'm this Todd is Grisham. it's the Next WBC arena. Is Johnny Nelson. That glitch is happening. Two. Time for our tail the tape. All the time now. It's, I think there's just some kind of massive error when it comes to the commentary lining up to whatever re arena you've selected. Um, I think the last update might have fucked that up. I think because I think it happens on every fight. Here comes Riddick, Big Daddy Bo. Despite being six foot so five the, inches tall, one of the with the career mode not being far off, I'm hoping we're going to get like bit. along with it. Not just like the actual career mode, but like a load of updates as well, or fixes, or. And I'm hoping the AI has been tweaked a little bit more. Um, Tommy the Duke Morrison. I'll be honest. Entertaining and electrifying. That's probably an unpopular opinion. It, my opinions normally are, but I don't feel like the AI is ready yet for a for a career mode. Obviously, it's nice that we're getting a career mode. This is ridiculous. You know, something else to do in the game because it's not really much to do at the moment, but. Um. Maybe they've got ideas of tweaking the, the AI along with the career mode at the same time, so we'll see. From Brooklyn, New York, here is the Olympic silver medalist and the two-time unified heavyweight champion of the world, introducing Big Daddy Riddick Bowe. Hiding out of the blue corner... From Kansas City, Missouri, here is the hard-hitting WBO heavyweight champion of the world, Tommy the Duke Morrison. So much hype surrounding this big matchup. Well, yeah, like Can't I say, maybe that's what, what they've got in mind to just Melbourne. sort of this is one of those get feedback on how the AI is performing in the really career mode and, you, you, you know, adjust it apart from that as the months go by. You know, say this game's a long way off a full release yet. Probably going to be next year at the at the earliest, I think. So here we go. Should be a good one. There's a lot to uh, there's a lot to improve on. It's not doing too bad at the moment for the state that it's in, but there's still a lot to improve on. He misses with that jab. Him with that uppercut. Like if it'd be awesome if this game made like a massive turnaround, obviously because there's a 
you know, a lot of the fan base who've got like a bit of faith in it and you know, want it to do well and some people actually think this is in a, a really good state already. I mean, I wouldn't go that far, like our main event. Okay. There's still a lot of stuff I don't like about this. Ooh, a stiff jab there by Tommy. But if it made like a dramatic turn around, like getting rid of a lot of these like shit punching animations and ended up becoming like a real serious boxing game, like competitor down the line, and you know, not just the punch animations, like the the whole thing with like weight behind the punches. Everything still seems feels a little bit weightless to me, and then there's the sort of damage system. The stamina and stuff like that and getting that all fine-tuned so it's still got a shitload of work to do really hasn't it like you know what's funny is like <laughs> you know that that game that i sort of put up for a joke the other day that you fight game you know on the ps5 that one i was playing and you know that's made on the unity engine and look how fucking janky that game was <laughs> And this is also on the fucking Unity engine, I think. Uh, Undisputed is on the Unity engine. You know, that doesn't mean to say that anything is on the, the Unity engine. is janky. You know, I'm sure you can make it. But, you know, the share, like, if it's on the same engine, it's going to share a lot of the same physic, uh, physics, isn't it, and stuff. And I just hope okay. it... I just hope what I'm getting at is I just hope this game can pull through in the end and, uh, you know, sort of get it uh, recognition as, like, a really good, like, boxing game down the line. Like, I don't think it's there yet, but I'm, I'm pulling for them. Like, I hope that they can, like, deliver it, like, you know. What do we expect to see here in round two? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. Oh, this is a slugger right Ooh, Tommy's going for that big overhand right. They want to get hit in the face because it cheesed them on. They want to stand Tried there. Tried to pull counter on there, but he, the he reacted to my to my counter. Why sit in the pocket when your punches are this slow? Oh, a big right up a cut left up there from Tommy. He blocks the hook. Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game Head plan. Movement there from Tommy. Pretty well for him so far. Terrorized them into not wanting to throw a punch because they don't even see the shot leaving. Stiff jab nice from both. Oh, and a power way. straight and a left hook behind it. Tap for tap. Ooh, like trying to uncork that 11. left hook is Tommy. Oh, stiff jab interrupts my little shot there. Oh, nice right up a cut to the ribs there. Just pivoting off to the right. And his soft lad block on the camera again. Fucking back of his head looks like a fucking nutsack. Left counter punch will score. Ooh, Tommy going for the body a bit. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Oh, another counter shot to the body there. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. The bell rings and we start the third. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. Guys that carry so much power. Of course they're going to look for that knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. Left counter score. Ooh, that long right straight, that step in straight. I don't normally use that because of how slow the sort of, like of the wind-up is on the animation, but it actually scores. landed them. They're slinging it. He just missed with that left jab. Oh, 
Oh, tried to pivot underneath that, but he caught me with it. Oh, that guy in the corner with the cameras getting on my nerves. That's the only problem with this arena. Oh, lovely combination from both. Oh, and a power straight, straight through the guard. J jab to the body, set it up. Bang, that little power straight through the gap there. the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. They're both going for the KO. It's so obvious. It looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. That'll be a 10-8 round for sure with the knockdown. I love the response, though. Got back up. Took a deep breath and thought, right, brush it up. Get on with the job. On to the fourth we go. We couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full bow because I know his legs are gone. So this... You watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing... Oh, stiff jab there, speed. just into the my combo. Gotta ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee, because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. Perfect counter oh, shot. stiff jab there, and that power straight came after it. They can't land that punch. I'm trying to keep the camera circled away so that Some fucking nice cameraman's not blocking the camera. In this round. And this is that jab. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Endurance is becoming a factor. Oh, lovely. Right up a cut left up counts as there. hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. Midway through the fight, if you are tapping... Oh, liver shot on that right straight left up. Oh, power up a cut up the middle. Took it well, though. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Oh, beautiful counter left up. Oh, hard up cut. Oh, and one up the middle. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. Cut him on his right side by the look of it as well. Might have been that check left hook at the end there. That sort of check counter left hook that got landed. Back into the fray here in round five. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Nice counter shot. And he just misses with that jab. Nice counter shot. No rest for the weary. Oh, big liver punches. shot there for Tommy. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Oh, it's hit again. He caught him clean. Is this the beginning of the end? Oh, tried to get him with that big left up. And he's oh, and a hard here. try straight to the body. The Trying to make it up before 10. I tried to open him up for that left uppercut there up top, but it was the right straight to the body that knocked him down. So 
Well, they'll make it up, and this fight continues. Now, oh, and there's, the, there's that right uppercut. That was a power shot. Oh, and there's that left uppercut. Finally got it in there, right straight to the body. What a shot that put him down. Off on that side. Oh, just glanced off the chin. One, two, three, that might be it. Four, five, no, it should six, be all right here. Seven. Maybe one more knockdown. some point the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down still might be hit no he's all right he's recovered we wanted action and they are giving us action it looks like he's going to survive the round here but just barely good counter punch Oh, hard right straight to the body there. Counter shot. His legs are gone, but somehow he's still in this fight. Unbelievable heart knocked down twice. This is the beginning of round six. Let's see if they can shake off the cobwebs after a disastrous last round. I have no idea what they have left. What? How? How do you come back from something like that? Knocked down twice? How, where's your head at? Where's your energy levels at? It tells you you've got nothing left. Ooh. Right punch. Quality commentary from Todd there. Right punch. <laughs> Cheers, Todd, for, for letting me know what, what punch came out. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you gotta think him. You just gotta be smarter than him. You've got to be like a little fag in a big bucket them. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice punch. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to Ooh, do with boxing. Just it's got to block up the well time there to block that left. Face. Don't get trigger happy because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Fighter has not shown us much defense at all. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. I feel like I should have less help than that. Like, I've been hit with a couple of shots. Like, I mean, I've hit him with obviously way more, but I feel like I should have less health than 88%. There's the bell to start round seven. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Oh, tried with that left again. Oh, that was straight off the jab. Disaster averted, it seems. We continue on. Do you believe what we're seeing? That, that left uppercut really wants to land, like... The left uppercut's probably the, one of the worst punches. In so terms of like, seems like aggression has been land the frequency, key. it'll land to the body all fucking day, but to the head, you have a fight, the best it just seems to, to be stop just before the face, and I feel like that's be been something that's plagued the game since the beta. That happened with punches, you throw a punch and it just kind of ends up in this like fucking limbo in between the two fighters where it just doesn't connect. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. 
Oh, beautiful combina uh, combination there. Oh, nice slip there from Tommy. Slipping the power straight this time. Nice shot with the left. Just when you thought we'd see a lull in the action, here we go again. Oh, just clinched. That's the first time I've clinched ever, I think. I didn't even know what I did. I press right analog stick in. Well, at least I know how to do it now. He just misses with that big right hand. Nice counter oh. punch. Pull back left up there with the right straight behind it. He misses with that jab. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. There's the bell to start round eight. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum Ooh, going. Trying to crack him with that power left up there, just fell short. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down. It's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? I just missed with that big right hand. Oh, tries to uncork the power right up there. Timed. This is a high octane battle. Nice oh, pull counter right round. straight. And a left up behind that, connected. See, there's one of those punches. That was a one of them where you just throw it and nothing happens that the pull counted him perfect with the right the straight there and it just didn't like nothing happen that's what it all boils down to who's gonna have more endurance what can they change can they slow the pace down can they hope to, to, to knock them out oh, well, left uppercut landed there do? off that right uppercut to, to the body concentrate and, relax. and again because you know what you can do, do you oh right uppercut left up then Oh, an and a right up, of course, up the middle off that jab to the body. Oh, just a little short one there. That might be it for Tommy now. It looked like a crime scene for a minute, that. Just Tommy lying there and all that blood behind it. That's it. I thought that would probably be the last one. You heard that right, Thanks for your request, Devonce, the boss. Hope you enjoyed the video, mate. Thanks for watching, as always. I know you're always uh, leaving comments and stuff. I really appreciate it. Don't forget, if you want to leave a request, just let me know. If you want to donate for one, you can do that in the... There's a link in the description. Just tell me who you want to see. And I'll get round to it. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one.